The next question, the member for Beaches East York. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Sorry. Um, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Today, sorry, MPP. Stop the clock. Member for Brampton North will come to order. Start the clock. Member for Beaches East York. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Today, I will speak about the Green Belt with a question to the Premier. Um, yes, we're in a housing crisis. We all know we're in a housing crisis and we wish to do something about it. So, but why step foot into the Green Belt when there are plenty of other options? We, we're talking about building up existing communities. There are plenty of ideas, innovative, creative ideas to do that. Building up along uh, the corridors in Toronto. Danforth Corridor is in my area and it is on a subway line. So why not add up the two stories and go up further? You're talking to the biggest YIMBY you will ever meet. And why not look in, encourage people to put in Question. laneway suites, garden suites, and secondary suites? Why not look at vacant properties, which you're not That's doing, you're order. looking at vacant properties? Why not um, look at home share, all the great home share organizations? There are over 2.2 million empty bedrooms in the city of Toronto. There are great programs partnering up students. Thank you. Thank you. And to reply on behalf of the government, the Full <laughs> Affairs and Housing. Thanks, uh, thanks, Speaker. Through, through you to the member, many of, exactly, many of the things the member spoke about, the government has done. We've created an innovative guide um, for cohabiting uh, a home, inspired by the Golden Girls of, uh, of Port Perry. We've uh, added a, a guide to create a second suite uh, in your home, a laneway suite, a basement apartment. We've included in this bill uh, 23 that's in front of us as of right to have those three units uh, at homes across the province. Um, many of the initiatives the member talked about about intensification is really part of our transit-oriented communities Talks. program. So the only difference, Speaker, is every time we put uh, an amendment like what the member is proposing on the floor in a bill, her party votes against, vote against it. So her. you know we're being very responsive Response. to the Housing Affordability Task Force report. We are taking many of the suggestions and putting them in force uh, again. Thank you. Thank you very much. The supplementary question. Back to the member for Beaches East York. Thank you, Madam, uh, Mr. Speaker. Um, well, in some of those um, innovative initiatives that the minister was um, quoting, I started actually laneway suites in Toronto happened under my watch as I spearheaded it. So you're welcome for that. Um, and also. <laughs> Once again, I'll ask the, uh, the House not to interrupt a member in that way. Start the clock. The member for Beaches East York has the floor. Thank you. And I would encourage the government to get gutsier and, and you, uh, propose four units instead of three and look at home share and look at vacant properties, which you have not done. And and continue to be robust in building up uh, the avenues and transit-oriented development. And um, my question primarily is why bulldoze the green belt, destroying precious farmlands, wetlands, um, when there are plenty of other options available to solve this housing crisis? And what exactly does the government think the green belt um, exists to be, why it exists to begin with? Minister of Affairs and Housing. Uh, thanks, Speaker. Through you to the uh, the member. Um, you know, she talks about vacant property. The government is looking at uh, surplus provincial property with a view of working collaboratively with my ministry and the Minister of Infrastructure to create an attainable housing program. King we have 
uh, many of our own government properties that are underutilized that local mayors have identified would be great opportunities to build a combination of homes and uh, the minister and I are going to investigate that and at the end of the day the consultation uh, on the green belt uh, you know deals with an addition uh, we're going to be adding a net gain of about 2,000 acres uh, to the green belt we'll continue to look at other uh, options around the Housing Affordability Task Force, and we, we made a commitment under the leadership of Premier Ford. We said to Ontarians, we would table a housing supply action bill, plan each and every year of a re-elected government. That's a commitment, Speaker, that we're going to uh, act on.